Yo, what's going on guys? Sing here, back at you with another video. This time I'm going through the Revelation of Maya event, and it's actually in-game. Um, I really like this event, man. It's pretty inclusive. It's not pay to win. It's an actual event event. Um, and for some reason I've been kind of feeling it. And it looks like pretty much anyone can compete. Um, the number two ranking person in our server is like K36 or 37 or something, like 2 Bill Power. Um, and yeah, seems like it doesn't really matter too much what your, what your keep bubble is and power and stuff. Cause it's really based on your general, your general, um, that you can bring in. And even then it doesn't matter too much. It seems that your runes and your ascensions do have a little impact, but even that's like not so significant, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, let me show you real quick what I've been doing and I'm going to go through part of a run for you. Um, maybe I'll speed this up or something and go through the whole run. We'll see what it turns into. But first thing I wanted to show you is that like this right over here is absolutely amazing. You want to get this buff in the beginning if you can. If you don't see it as an option, just keep restarting until it shows up. But it restores 3% of max HP at every level. So get that. And you got to pick your troops. So just pick your best ones. And this is what I've been doing every time. So it doesn't matter what the general is. Every time I pick 1000 of all the layers. And I max out on siege. And for some reason, this works the best, man. And, um, let's see. Boudicca. And I should have my cap gen. Marius. So, for some reason, this is working the best. Um, I can't tell you why. It, for some reason, it just is. Um, and I've been sending one general at a time initially. Until I get this one buff that I always look for. You saw I lost no power there. See, one, one, two, six, zero. Oh. I should have 1260 after this as well. Yep, still 1260. And I always go for siege buffs where I can. If not, I go for like cav HP or ground HP for to help out my layers a little bit. If that's how it works. Mine calendar. And pretty much how this event works is at the very end, you want to have tried to have recruited as many as many um generals as possible. So those uh camps, if you run into a couple of them. That's like you got lucky. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm gonna pick this one because it has siege buffs. If you got lucky and ran into a lot of mine camps, that means you're gonna have a couple of extra generals. So let's just say you end up with like three or four extra generals. All of those are extra points that you're gonna get at the end. And that's how you maximize your points is by having as many um as many things left over at the end as possible. Go for mounted defense. So, um, the other thing is you want to heal as much as you can at the end. So right before the last battle, um, unless you're going to lose, but in some way, you want to make sure that you have full health right at the end. Grab all these. Is there anything here? No. If there's anything to heal there, I probably would have grabbed it. But otherwise, not really important. Um, I ignore all the totems. If it's a poison totem, I try to hurry up and get to it. Otherwise, it's not that serious. Don't need to worry about it. And you can see Elise still going strong. And she healed a little bit, that 3% from that totem that I got. I think she's starting to get a little hurt now from these things. But it's not, again, not that significant. And again, so the reason I use one general at a time, because there's this, uh, okay, let's see, range defense or siege defense, then unbreakable wall. Let's do that one. Okay, mine camp, great. <laughs> Three Princess Kaguya is wonderful. So now I'm not going to use her, is a thing, because I have this siege setup that I'm using. And you see, I'm using Elise. Like, I'm using Elise for, um, for these solos. And I wonder, like, if I use 
like Electra, how much he's gonna lose. Because Elise is my strongest general. I just I don't know how much of an impact that has, but oh, she doesn't lose anything. Okay. And Electra is like two star, I think. Okay, she loses some on the blue one. Interesting. Siege defense. The Mayan chest. Enter. Mayan market. Let's see if there's things to heal. All right, this one's useful. Um, it destroys all poison with totems. Although even that I would recommend not using because um, you get points for destroying the poison with totem. The only time I'd use it if the totem was like really, like really far back. And you're gonna like hurt yourself too much to continue but otherwise i think when you click on the totem you actually get more points let's see does she get hurt here no she doesn't but she gets hurt on this one does at least get hurt on that one she does a little bit um let's do that it's level three So you see, I'm not taking any damage with this setup, well, at least on these early levels. I think eventually maybe I will. But even then, it won't be much. Um, let's take that. Oh, this video, is, this video might end up being too long. I'm going to skip through here. I sent two at the same time. Let's see what happens. No, no damage. Mine, calendar. Oh, let's pick CJHP. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic and probably speed this up so you guys can see what this is like. Um, I might be testing some things, like I'm going to send three at the same time. And uh, I'm looking for a specific buff. Let's see if I get it this time. See, Electra didn't take any damage there. Interesting. Uh, let's see, I need to have Siege. Mm. No, I'll go for Ground HP. Um, one more thing while I'm talking, when you go, when you get the heals, the heal pools, typically the ones that say heal all of them, that's the best one. Yeah, Electra didn't take any damage. Nice. Unstoppable Force. This is a good one. If it, Siege Machines have a 30% attack to insta-kill. Those are great. So this is the one that I wanted to show you. Triple lanes. This is the best one. So this is when if you if you send three um, marches, you get 333% buffs. <laughs> it's hella broken. But if you get this, you're golden. Um, you're good. And I'll I'll show you. You're you pretty much can't lose, I think. At least I, I haven't lost with this. But you just send three marches from now on never send more <laughs> but you only send three marches at everything and you're you're good and if any anything gets too low just um send your top three that aren't the new 
uh, generals that you've picked up along the way. So don't ever send those guys. Just send the you know the guys you've started with. But that triple lanes has a lot of buffs, man. Like a lot of buff. Um, but yeah, that's that's the one that you want to get. And I got lucky. If I got it a little bit late, I was getting a little worried. I was like, yo, am I gonna get it? Another mine camp, bro. And that's the third one. Okay, this might be a good one. Let's see. I'm gonna mute myself again and speed it up. enter the portal so this is the did i just like skip something i don't know but here's the last uh round so i'm second to last round and you'll see like i only have 4500 points but most of the points are gonna come from uh gonna come from uh i should have picked the other buff but whatever just layer buffs um they're gonna come from how many how much HP I have at the end? See you talk. It's a little crazy, right? But that's how it works. Do these three. And I picked up a couple generals, man, so I think I might get a lot. Here I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Go ahead and let Elise get hurt a lot. And I'll give her a personal heal. I must have a personal heal. Like, heal just her. I haven't checked what runes I've been getting. I got a rune here. Uh, it doesn't matter. Range defense doesn't matter. Yeah, so I do have one. Okay. I'll let her get hurt. All right. Let's check on them. I'll put Electra back in. Take these out. Do it that way. Then I'll use the runes to heal. Might not even need that one, but... I'll use it anyway. Do I have any other heal runes? No, just that one. Do I have the attack buff one? Okay. This one. Okay. Uh, let me just see something real quick. Yeah, they're pretty good. Attack. Um, This guy gets hurt all the time. Do... Marty doesn't get too hurt. All right. Mm 
I'll just do this. So they're all good. All right, I'll send the same. Uh, let me just use that attack one. Attack buff. All right, 10,205. I didn't break my record, but did all right. Needed more generals. If I picked up one more, if I got another mine camp, I would have gotten a lot more. But there you go, 10,205 score. Um, now I got to see the ranking. I don't think I'd be my previous score. Revelation of Maya, ranking. Yeah, I didn't be my previous score. But, did all right there. Anyway, so I hope you guys got something out of that. Kind of a long video. <laughs> I had to take a break. I had something else. I had a work call in between all this. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, hope this helped you out with your Revelation of Maya. <laughs> Again, the tips. Um, try to keep as, get as many of those army camps as possible. Recruit as many as you can. Try to get that heal 3% every round in the beginning. I would just restart again and again until it shows up. Um, heal at the end before you go into that final round. And yeah, that's about it, man. Um, do the 1k layers with siege attack with all uh, all siege. And get the tri-lane buff with the send 3 and the same march. And that seems to do it. Um, and that'll be it. Just go for all siege buffs. And that, that did it for me, at least. And hopefully it does it for you guys. If you're having trouble, like, getting to the end. But, yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.